Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. I read about this interesting puzzle on Newsweek, and it was posted originally on Reddit. This was a very challenging problem that stumped the parents and even left their child in tears. So here is the problem. We have a grid, and you need to fill in the empty squares with the numbers 1 through 9. You need to use each number exactly once, and you need to make all of the equations true. So this is quite a challenging problem for a 10-year-old student, and I think even many parents would find it challenging. So how can we solve it? What's the strategy? What I did is I first looked row by row to see if there was any row that just had one blank square. So in the first row, we have two blank squares, so that would be too many cases to check. So let's see if there's any other row that's easier to solve. Let's go ahead to the second row. Once again, we have two blank squares, so this will be too many combinations to check. So let's go ahead to the third row. Again, we have two blank squares, so we go ahead to the fourth row. But now we just have one blank square. We have some number plus 1 plus 7 minus 4 is equal to 8. Now, 1 plus 7 is exactly equal to 8. So if we cancel these out, we need some number minus 4 to be equal to 0. So that number would have to be equal to 4. So we know we could put 4 in this spot. We can also cross out 4 from our list of numbers so that we don't use it again. So we can now check the last row. But once again, we have two empty squares, so this will be too many possibilities to check. So now let's search through the columns. The very first column has already been solved, so we can just skip that. The second column will have three missing squares. Then the third column just has one missing square. So let's solve for that. We have 6 minus 5 plus some number minus 7 is equal to 3. 6 minus 5 is equal to 1, so 1 plus some number minus 7 is equal to 3. Now, of course, 10 minus 7 is equal to 3, and 10 is 1 more than 9. So 10 is equal to 1 plus 9. Therefore, we know the missing number has to be equal to 9. 1 plus 9 is equal to 10, minus 7 is equal to 3. So we could put 9 in this square. Let us remember to cross off 9 because we have used this number. And now that we have filled in this square, we can go ahead and look at the row where the 9 belongs to. So now in this third row, we are only missing one square. So we have 8 minus 5 is equal to 9 minus some number multiplied by 2. You have to remember the order of operations. We need to do the multiplication first. But let's simplify this equation. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Then we need 9 minus some number times 2 is equal to 3. Well, 3 is equal to 9 minus 6, and 6 is equal to 3 times 2. So the missing number has to be equal to 3. 3 is equal to 9 minus 3 multiplied by 2. So this square has to be equal to 3. So let's cross off 3 from the list and proceed from here. At this point, every single row and column that's missing a number has two missing numbers. We don't have any easy way to proceed in the problem. But the row that I would look at would be the second row because we're multiplying by 5. So we're going to end up with a multiple of 5, and that will limit our possibilities. The equation is 4 plus some number multiplied by 5 minus another number is equal to 6. There are only a few numbers that we could check, so let's go ahead and see if any of them work. Let's start right in the middle with the number 5. Let's say we are taking 5 multiplied by 5. So what would the other missing number have to be? 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 25, so we have 4 plus 25 minus some number is equal to 6. 4 plus 25 is equal to 29, and then 29 minus some number is equal to 6, 
the missing number would have to be 23, which is obviously too large. We're going to end up with this problem if we take any larger number of 6, 7, or 8. It must either be equal to 1 or 2. So let's go ahead and test out the number 1. What would happen if we put 1 multiplied by 5? 1 multiplied by 5 is equal to 5, so we have 4 plus 5 minus some number is equal to 6. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Then we would need 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. But we have already used the number 3, so we can't have 1 in this position. The only possibility is that we have the number 2 in this position. So 2 multiplied by 5 is equal to 10. 4 plus 10 minus some number is equal to 6. 14 minus some number is equal to 6, and the number would have to be equal to 8. So we know that these two numbers will be equal to 2 and 8. So let's go ahead and cross off these numbers from the list. Now, even though we only have a few possibilities left, all of the rows and columns still have two missing numbers. So we're still going to have to go through something of a difficult exercise. I would say go ahead and start with the first row. 9 plus some number minus 6 is equal to another number minus 3. Now 9 minus 6 is equal to 3, so 3 plus some number is equal to another number minus 3, and that means 6 plus some number is equal to another number. Let's imagine we put 1 in the first spot, so we have 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. 1 and 7 are both numbers that we could pick, so this is a possibility. We could also test out 5, 6, and 7, and none of these other possibilities work. So it must be that the two numbers are 1 and 7. So we put in 1 and 7 into these spots. And now we are almost done with the puzzle. We cross out these two numbers, and we only have the numbers 5 and 6, but the remaining columns only have one missing number. The equation in the second column is 1 is equal to 2 plus 5 minus 1 minus a number. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. And of course, 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. So the missing number is 5. Cross that number off. And finally, we have the fourth column. And it must be the last number, which is 6. And this is a true equation. 7 is equal to 8 minus 3 minus 4 plus 6. So we finally cross that off. And we have solved the puzzle. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.